Instead of making wudu, if I just take a bath with the intention of performing ghusl, is there an extra word? Yes, there is an extra word. Not only that, if you while performing wudu, we know that the Almighty Allah says in the ayah of Surah Al-Ma'idah, and number 6, chapter number 5, Ya ayuha alladhina amanu, idha qumtum ila salati faqsilu wujuhakum, wa aidiyakum ila al-marafiqi, wamsahu bi ru'usikum, wa arjulakum ila al-ka'bayn. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith, فَمَنْ إِسْتَطَاعَ أَنْ يُطِيلَ غُرَّتَهُ فَلْيَفْعَلْ There is a previous discussion. So he said that on the Day of Judgment, my ummah will be summoned and called upon on the Day of Gathering, غُرَ مُحَجَّلِينَ مِنْ أَثَارِ الْوُضُوءِ Which means they would have bright body parts. They will be illuminating due to performing wudu so let whoever increase the area which would have this nur on his or her body if he can do that let him do it how by increasing the area which he washes during wudu yani allah says you wash your arms up to the elbows so if you go up a little bit this is preferable this is preferable Likewise with the feet, with the ankles, you go up a little bit. This is a preferable because the Prophet said in the, uh, in the hadith, فَمَنْ إِسْتَطَاعَ أَنْ يُطِيلَ غُرَّتَهُ فَلْيَفْعَلِ So imagine, I'm not just uh, performing wudu and washing the body parts, I'm washing the entire body while intending to perform wudu in order. So obviously it is better and there is an extra reward in that.